Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic week. I have some nails here to decorate. I have my little display tips ready on my painted and posted stand, which I absolutely love. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing some nice sparkly Christmassy gong sort of nails this week. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be working on the end two nails firstly. And um, these are going to be exactly the same. So I've got this here. This is Madame Glam chest to chest. And it's a lovely kind of, I don't know, it's sort of somewhere between a candy apple and a sort of cherry, like a really bright cherry if that makes sense anyway um, and it's got a little bit of uh, sparkle through it as well too but we're going to add more sparkle because more is more and uh, so this here is just going to be our background color for sugaring over so once i have a layer of this here i'm going to go put in one layer down of this color we're going to go in for a cure and then i'm just going to put on some no wipe top coat as you can see and um, once i have that no wipe top coat added on i'm going to take some of the beautiful hello ruby which is just oh gorgeous just it's like dorothy shoes you know that kind of situation and i'm just going to sprinkle that on and then we're going to go in for a double cure and uh, and then just give it a little dust off as well too after it's come out of the lamp as well Okay, so moving on to the center nail, which I want to be a really nice feature nail and sort of uh, the, the nail that sort of like ties everything in. So again, I've gone in with some of that um, chest to chest and I have flash cured it and then I'm sprinkling on some of the Hello Ruby and then using my little brush, I'm just going to tap it in because we're burnishing this on. So obviously burnishing, for those of you who are maybe new to applying glitter, it is basically patting it in to the tacky layer to have it sort of sit flat rather than, you know, sort of sugared on. So as you can see, it's all nice and flat and uh, I'm just wiping off the excess there and patting everything down because we want it to be nice and smooth. And then I'm going in then with some matte top coat. And I know what you're thinking, oh, Karen, you're putting matte top coat over hollow, but it has got such a beautiful effect. It's like whenever you put matte top coat over chrome, it's so, so nice. So once that's cured as you can see it's the most amazing tone to it i'm going to be taking this stamping plate which is the um moe london christmas one and then some moira gel polish stamping the stamping gel polish for moira that's it and uh this here needs cured so as soon as we've obviously applied it to the plate swiped it and got it onto your stamper usually normal gel polish would you know air dry but we've got plenty of time to work with this because it needs cured so i'm just removing some little bits there that i don't want to transfer onto the nail stamp that down now as you can see this sort of like um swirly effect doesn't exactly sort of stretch the whole way across the nail so just taking my nap mug detailer and um, i've put some of that gel stamp and polish onto a little ring palette and i'm literally just extending out where the swirls didn't quite meet the edge in so um so yeah and uh yeah just making sure that it's that it, that it looks all nice and finished and uh, then i'm just sprinkling on some diamond dust which is a beautiful white iridescent oh it's so sparkly it's like snow i love this i absolutely love this nail this here just mm, it is gorgeous and there you go once it's cured it looks like that and that is our little central nail how pretty Okay, and then finally on to the last two nails, and this is our little gonks. This is what's going to be our little gonks. And um, the reason I've done these nails this week is because I think I have restocked the gonks probably about three or four times now. They have been so popular along with the fairy lights 
and the snowflake. In fact, in fact, all of our little Christmas decals have been really, really, really popular. But look at them, how cute are they? Um, I'm gonna be using this sort of those two little ones there and uh, a little Mr. and Mrs. Gonk. And uh, these are just, they're so pretty, so, so pretty. So this is why I wanted to do this video is because they've been so popular and I thought, right, I will do a little inspiration video and just, you know, for all those that have got their gonks from Neil Sugar, I shall, um, I'll go ahead and just do like a little inspo set. So as you can see, I've just put that onto my, cut it out, put it onto my stamper and then wet the back off it. You wait probably about sort of 10 to 15 seconds, slide the backing off and then you can just stamp it down onto the nail. Um, I would say that whenever you're doing this to, ta to uh, stamp it onto the tacky layer. Um, so yeah. That's, um, that's how easy it is, literally how easy it is. And look at them, how cute are they? A little cute couple. And then we're going in with some matte top coat. And I decided just to add a little tiny diamond to the tip of their hats, just as a bit of sparkle, because why not, you know? And uh, once that's cured, that's them done. And there we go guys, that is our finished look um, on the little on the little stand. It's so pretty and uh, there's a bit of a close-up as well too. Such a really nice set and design and it all ties in really well. So um, yeah, I just love the colours. It's super duper festive and I know we're still in November but you know, I suppose it's good to do the festive videos a little early just to give people inspiration for whenever people do want these um, on their nails and want to get all Christmassy. You're kind of like geared up and ready to go with ideas. So hope you've enjoyed this as much as I did uh, making it. All links will be below. Thank you so much indeed for watching and I'll see you all again next week. Have a good one.